Identity theft has become the top consumer complaint in the U.S. with about 10 million victims every year. And more children than ever are becoming victims. Rebecca Jarvis says that's one of the five things you need to know about ID theft. Rebecca, good morning. Good morning to you as well. So the first thing off the bat is parents just need to be aware. that this. They have happen. to be aware, and they have to be aware that kids under 19 years old are a big target of identity theft. 8% of the identity theft that happens in this country is impacting people under the age of 19. Why is that? Well, it's because they don't really have a lot of credit history under their belt. They're not going out and applying for credit cards. They're not going out and applying for mortgages. So to know that it's happening to your child is hard to do because until the kid is going to college, you're not really thinking about putting their name out for loans. What you need to do as a parent is get their credit history history checked on a yearly basis and also follow their social security report. Wow. Which you can get done for free, by the way, the credit checks. You can get yeah. that done for free, yes. I, I'm surprised that you have to start checking, you should start checking, having your kids' identity theft checked even though they're not out there buying just because. I, I, this is what I'm trying to say. I think it's so egregious when you take, when you take on kids and senior citizens. It, it's, it's disgusting so children, and they, it and they do tend attention. to be one of the target groups because of who they are and what their habits are and the fact of the and matter is no they're not out credit. getting credit. Okay, number two, you said keep a close eye on benefits issued by the government. Yes, for example, that social security number. Social security, you mentioned senior citizens being a target. Yeah. Well, social security becomes a big target of identity thieves. They can go out, get your social security number, and then take on your social security checks. But that number is also so important because, and I talked to H&R Block about this, they say people will come in literally with a slew of fake social security mm. numbers and claim them as dependents, trying to claim them as children, or trying to take on the tax benefits, the tax refunds mm. of another individual. So you have to watch for that. The third thing, and a big thing, watch out for the medical records. Yes, and the reason you want to watch for medical records, and again, it, it gets so egregious, Gail, like you pointed out. People will literally steal your identity so that they can go to a hospital, get a treatment under your name, under your social security number, and then the bill would go to you. Now, not only is that a problem for your credit and for what you pay, but it's also a problem because the next time you go to the hospital for something else, all of a sudden, that other person's medical records yeah. become your own. Wow. And that you don't want that in your history, and you're being obviously. you're for a random ailment. Exactly. <laughs> well, not only that, but like, <laughs> let's say you have a, a problem with some medication, and yeah. all of a sudden, somebody else came into the office and they had a different problem. Well, yeah, that could be dangerous good. to your health. It does health. make me think I need to pay attention. Stuff comes in, and I don't really read the fine print. I need to start doing that. I need to find my Social Security card. Let's start with that. <laughs> the fourth thing you said is social media. Yes. That that's something to be concerned about. About half of the people who face identity theft in this country are between the age of 20 and 39 years old, and they are the people who are most active on social media. You put something like your college name out there, you put something like the town you grew up in, these are elements of the package that a identity theft needs in order to have your full information. It's when you think unknowingly about it, you're giving yes. information. Yes. Well, and yeah. you think about that security question on websites, oftentimes the security question is, where did you grow up? Yes. What college did you go to? Yes. And speaking of locations, by the way, last but not least, where you live is a big part of this. This is fascinating to me. In Florida, Florida is the number one place for identity theft in the country. Because a senior citizen? That is a big part of it. Mm. Another big part of it is that it's just ripe. I mean, there's, unfortunately, identity thieves happen to target that area. But I should point out, these identity thieves, they're not just based in the U.S. They are around the world. China is a big hotbed of it. I've talked to uh, the FTC, which oversees this, the Federal Trade Commission. They are finding more and more people are identity thieves in this country coming from other places, like China, for example. But Florida, Georgia, California, these are top target states for identity theft. And we're in New York. Another great Unfortunately, it's one of here. them as well. It's uh, one in New York is one of the other places. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. Thanks.